home, so you drive to your work, you plug in your car and you drive back, and you plug your car in at home, and 99% of the trips are less than 100 kilometers. So that's what you expect uh, uh, the range of battery will be. How are we going to sell our product is of course also very important, because electric cars are really costly to buy, especially the battery. Well, we'll model it on a mobile phone contract. You get your car for free or for an enormous discount, but you have a contract which you pay a monthly fee to charge at our charging points. So all around, if you look at it like this, electric driving is much better than driving a combustion uh, engine powered car. What, what is your definition of slow charging? Our definition of slow charging is if you go somewhere and you have to be there for maybe four hours and you come there and your battery is nearly empty mm -hmm. and you plug it in when you come there and you want to go back home that after four hours your battery will be okay. and especially the plug-in hybrid is going to be a really interesting segment for us because if you can charge them at our charging points and you've been driving around for an entire year and after that year you still notice like well the same petrol is still in the tank as when I bought the car because I only did short trips yeah. and we think that uh, the next car people will buy will be electric and there will be a really big convincer of the plug-in hybrid that electric driving is actually an option. I'm really wondering how it looked like and you didn't show that. No, yet. That's because it's, the yeah. product is still in development. And I know, but that's why I'm yeah, really that's curious about it. So we're curious as well. <laughs> <laughs> We can charge batteries which are under the ground, which can be utilised for several vehicles at certain times during the day, and they can be charged at any time. People will charge their car at home, and then only use fast charging when they actually need it. We have solar energy, wind energy, um, which can all be utilised in a, a system for electric vehicles. And the fast charging systems allow for the network expansion and uh, remove this preconception that uh, fast charging really limits your, your travel capacity distance wise. The big question, who profits? And in our opinion, it's everyone. Even the people who don't believe in it, they at least get a better air uh, climate. We think that by 2020, 35% of electric vehicles on the road is not a reason. There's the cost of any cost of uh, sustainability or making it more green, not making it green, but making it more green. Does it increase or does it make the product uh, expensive? Mm, it is our product itself is as green as it gets. I think you both need to get uh, the same amount of money. Uh, so I give you both 25,000 euros. Uh, let's say um, 40, 60. 40, 60. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I would like to, uh, to give uh, 30,000 euros to the, the first group and uh, 20,000 euros to uh, the second group. Thank you. I would like to give 40,000 to Juice mm -hmm. and uh, 30,000 to Awesome Mobility and uh, I will give the rest 30,000 to you, Custody, in the next <laughs> two weeks okay. so that they come back to you about their sustainability issues. So, uh, thank you again, Helga from Amsterdam, Satish from Technical University, Theo, Marika from Atelier, Theo from uh, Technical University of Eindhoven, and Perry from uh, Synthes. And uh, let's have an applause about that. And <laughs>